To install and set up your Nest Learning Thermostat 4th Gen, first make sure you have all the parts that were included in the box. The Quick Start Guide, Thermostat, Base Plate, Metal Plate, Trim Plate, Screws, and Temperature Sensor. You'll also need a Google account, the Google Home app, and a Wi-Fi connection. If you don't have a Google account, go to accounts.google.com. To set up your account, tap Create Account and follow the on-screen steps. If you don't have the Google Home app, download it from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Open the Google Home app. Tap Devices. Tap the Add Device button. Tap Google Nest or Partner Device. Select your home. Tap Thermostat, then tap Nest Learning Thermostat 4th Gen. Scan the QR code on the back of your thermostat. Tap Next. Review the legal terms, then tap I agree. The app will walk you through the steps to install and set up your new thermostat. Gather your tools now so that they're available when you need them. You'll need a number two Phillips screwdriver and pencil. Pliers, wire strippers, and a flashlight are optional. Then make sure your heating and or cooling system is working properly before you start. Go to your home's breaker box and turn off the power at the circuit breaker. This will protect you and your equipment during installation. To double check that the system is off, adjust the temperature with your current thermostat. Wait a few minutes to make sure your system doesn't turn on. Turning the power off may disable Wi-Fi, so make sure your phone has mobile data turned on. Next, follow the steps in the app to remove the front of your thermostat and check the type of system you have. If you see 120V or 240V labels, stranded wires, or thick wires with wire nuts, your system is high voltage and not compatible with the Nest Learning Thermostat. Important, do not connect a Nest Learning Thermostat to these high voltage wires. If your system is compatible, tap Not High Voltage. Take a picture of the wires with your phone. This will be useful for reference later. If there are jumper wires connecting one wire to another, loosen the screws to remove them. You won't need them. Some thermostat terminals may have two labels, one for conventional systems and one for systems with a heat pump. If your terminals have two labels, tap Yes. Otherwise, tap No. Identify and select the type of wires your thermostat has. Depending on the type of wires you have, the app may walk you through additional steps. Because every heating and cooling system is different, it's important to label your wires. With the power still off, remove the wires from the terminals one at a time and attach the matching sticker label provided in your thermostat box. Most thermostats have screws that hold the wires in. Use a screwdriver to disconnect them. Other thermostats may have buttons that you simply press to release the wires. Carefully remove your old thermostat. You may want to wrap the wires around a pencil so they don't fall back into the wall. If you're installing your Nest Learning thermostat on an electrical box, tap Yes and use the included metal plate or tap No. To install the trim plate to cover any wall imperfections, tap Yes. If you're not installing the trim plate, tap No. Gently pull the wires through the thermostat base. Use the bubble level to make sure the base plate is straight. Then mark where the screws will go. To attach the base plate to the wall, use the long pointed screws that came in the box. If you are installing in drywall, use anchors. If you need to drill holes in your wall, Remove the base plate before doing so. Pre-drill a hole with a 3 over 32 inch or 2.5 millimeter drill bit. Tighten the screws until the base plate is firmly against the wall. Use the bubble level to make sure it's straight. 
Untangle the wires and align them with the terminals, but don't insert the wires yet. Check the ends of your thermostat wires. They should be straight. If not, re-strip them and trim the ends, leaving 3 eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters of wire exposed. Use the on-screen diagram as a wire guide. Starting from the top, hold each lever all the way down while inserting the wire into the correct terminal. When the wire is secure, the lever will remain pressed. Push in the wires so they're flush with the back plate and make sure the levers stay pressed when the wires are gently pulled or adjusted. This lets you attach the display properly. If the levers don't remain pressed, strip the wire a bit more. Then reinsert the wire. To attach the display, align the display and base. Then press evenly along the entire edge of the display until it clicks into place. Now go to the circuit breaker and turn the power back on. Your Nest Learning Thermostats display is now on and the thermostat is ready to connect. Note, if you're unsure if the thermostat is receiving power, you can always pull the display back off. The level at the top of the base illuminates when the thermostat has power. Select your language. The app will show you which wires have been detected on your thermostat. If they match the wires you installed, tap Next. If not, turn your power off and check that you've inserted the wires into the right connectors and make sure they're pushed all the way in. Next, the app will test the installation to make sure your thermostat is getting enough power. Follow the on-screen steps to tell your thermostat a few more things about your system. Select the mode you want to use when you turn your system on, such as heating or cooling mode. Next, you'll connect your thermostat to Wi-Fi. Select the location of your Nest Learning thermostat. Confirm or add your home address, or to change your address, tap Edit Address. The Google Home app will guide you through some thermostat features, like Nest Renew Energy Savings Program, Eco Temperature Automations, and Smart Schedule. The sensors in your device can help determine if someone's home. To keep present sensing turned on for this device, tap Next. If you turn on present sensing, we recommend using both your phone location and device sensors to detect when someone is home or everyone is away. Present sensing also works best when everyone in the home participates. You can set up different features now, or to set these features up later, tap not now. To get Google updates on hardware products, offers, and more, tap Sign Up or tap No Thanks. Your Nest Learning thermostat might need some time to update. Once it's done updating, you can rotate the dial to change the temperature or press down the display to see a more detailed menu with a description of what your thermostat is doing. The Google Home app makes it easy to control your Nest Learning thermostat even when you're not at home. You can adjust the temperature, change settings, see your energy dashboard, and more. When you're done setting up your thermostat, tap Done. Or to set up the temperature sensor that came with the thermostat, tap Set up Nest Temperature Sensor. The app will lead you through the setup process.